Ever wondered if what you eat could be causing your arthritis to act up? Welcome. Today we're tackling the topic of arthritis, a condition characterized by inflammation and pain in the joints. While there's no magic diet to cure arthritis, some foods are known to increase inflammation and trigger symptoms. From your morning coffee to the sandwich you have for lunch, your diet may be playing a sneaky role in your arthritis discomfort. Imagine finding relief from your arthritis pain, not at the pharmacy, but at the dinner table. The truth about your aches may lie within your very own kitchen pantry. Arthritis pain can be debilitating, and while medication and therapy are traditional relief methods, diet also plays a significant role in managing arthritis. Surprisingly, certain foods often seen as healthy can sometimes lead to more joint pain and swelling. Watch until the end to uncover the surprising everyday foods that might amplify your joint pain and what you can do to turn the tide on inflammation. Do you know which food can alter your taste preference? Consuming it can lead to craving it more. It's just hard to say no. Watch to the end to find the surprising, sneaky truth about this food. There's also a surprising, free gift for you on how to live your longest towards the end of this video. First on our list, sugary foods. Now, who doesn't love a good donut or a refreshing soda on a hot day? But did you know that these sweet indulgences could be triggering your arthritis symptoms? That's right. Foods high in sugar, like your favorite pastries and soft drinks, can stimulate the release of inflammatory messengers in your body, known as cytokines. These cytokines can cause inflammation in your joints, leading to pain and discomfort. What's more, an excess of these sugary treats can also lead to weight gain, which puts additional pressure on your joints. So it's pretty clear, if you want to manage your arthritis symptoms better, it might be time to cut down on those sugary delights. And remember, moderation is key. A little sweetness now and then is okay, but don't let it become a habit. So next time you reach for that donut, think about your joints. Moving on to the second item, dairy products. Now this is where things get a bit tricky. It's like walking on a tightrope, balancing the good and the not so good. On one hand, some arthritis sufferers have reported an improvement in their symptoms when they've kicked dairy out of their diets. They've switched to vegan or paleo diets, both of which give dairy a wide berth. But on the flip side, dairy can be a friend too. It's a great source of vitamin D and calcium, two nutrients that are vital for bone health. So if you're a fan of that glass of milk or a slice of cheese, it might not be all doom and gloom. However, like all good things in life, moderation is key. Listen to your body and observe how it reacts to different foods. If dairy triggers your arthritis symptoms, it might be time to explore alternatives. Dairy, it seems, is a bit of a double-edged sword. Third on our list, salt and preservatives. Now, who doesn't love a little extra flavor in their food? But did you know that this seemingly innocent addition could be a hidden trigger for your arthritis pain? Yes, you heard right. Consuming too much salt and preservatives found in some foods can cause inflammation in your joints. This inflammation is like an uninvited guest that overstays its welcome, leading to arthritis pain. So, what can you do about it? The answer is simple, yet often overlooked. Read the food labels. These tiny print sections on the back of your food packets can be a treasure trove of information. They can help you avoid high-sodium items and choose healthier alternatives. So before you reach out for that next packet of instant noodles or canned soup, remember to check the sodium content. Your joints will thank you for it. Remember, what you can't see can still hurt you. The Unhealthy Duo Alcohol and Tobacco Let's talk about alcohol first. It's a bit of a double-edged sword. Moderate drinking might have some heart benefits, but when it comes to arthritis, it's a different story. Alcohol, especially when consumed excessively, can lead to increased inflammation in the body, which is the last thing you want if you're dealing with arthritis. Moving on to tobacco, it's no secret that smoking is bad for your health. But did you know that it can also increase your risk of developing rheumatoid arthritis? That's right, smoking doesn't just harm your lungs, it can also wreak havoc on your joints. So. What's the solution? It's simple. If you smoke, quit. And if you drink, do so in moderation. These lifestyle changes can make a world of difference in managing your arthritis symptoms. Kick the bad habits to the curb for healthier joints. Your joints. Last but not least, last but not least, refined carbohydrates. You might think that sugar is the only sweet thing you need to watch out for, but let's talk about its sneaky cousin. Refined carbohydrates. These are found in foods like white bread, pastries, white rice, and yes, even your beloved potatoes. These foods have a high glycemic index, which in a nutshell means they can cause a rapid spike in your blood sugar levels. 
Now you might be wondering what that has to do with arthritis. Well, these spikes can trigger inflammation in your body, a key player in arthritis discomfort. But don't lose heart, there's a silver lining here. You don't have to give up carbs altogether, just opt for healthier alternatives like whole grains that are packed with nutrients and have a lower glycemic index. This means they're less likely to cause those blood sugar spikes and the resulting inflammation. So, swap the white bread for whole grain and give your joints a break. So, there you have it. Six surprising foods that could be making your arthritis worse. Let's take a quick jog down memory lane. We started with the sweet culprit, sugary foods that can cause inflammation, further aggravating your arthritis. Then we moved on to dairy products. While they're a great source of calcium for some, they can also be a source of discomfort, making arthritis symptoms more pronounced. We didn't stop there, did we? We also unmasked the hidden triggers, salt, and preservatives. They might make our food taste better, but they sure don't make our joints feel better. And then we talked about the unhealthy duo, alcohol and tobacco. Both can lead to increased inflammation and pain. Last but not least, we uncovered the not-so-sweet truth about refined carbohydrates. They might satisfy our cravings, but they can also lead to obesity, which puts more stress on our joints. Now, remember, everyone is different. What may trigger arthritis symptoms in one person may not in another. It's always advisable to consult with a healthcare provider to get personalized advice. You may think managing arthritis is a daunting task, but it doesn't have to be. It's all about knowing your triggers and making smart choices. So take this knowledge, apply it, and start making those small changes that can have a big impact on your health. Ready for a surprising food fact? Eating too much salt can change your taste buds. Over time, high salt diets make us less sensitive to the taste of salt itself, which means we might add even more to our meals. This happens because our brains get a feel-good signal from salt, thanks to a chemical called dopamine. This makes salty foods more appealing and hard to resist, pushing us into a cycle of craving more salt for the same delicious taste. Keep this in mind next time you reach for the salt shaker. Remember, eating right for arthritis isn't about cutting out all the fun stuff. It's about balance and knowing what makes you feel good. Keep an eye on how foods make you feel and adjust your eats to keep your joints jumping for joy, not jumping out of your skin. Check out the comment below on how to download your free gift. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe and notification bell. Thanks for watching.